Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to download file or multiple files from Azure Blob Storage to the on-premises directory. This is a very common scenario where you have some files sitting on the Blob Storage and you would like to download them to the local directory, maybe on daily basis or hourly basis. Now, let me show you my Blob Storage and from there we will take a look. Here, I'm on Azure Portal and then I'm going to the Storage Account. Once I go to the Storage Account, there are containers there click on containers and one of the container is called the Azure input now this Azure input have a blob directory called the my demo demo files inside that demo um, directory I have these uh, six files sitting there so my tab my goal is uh, to download these files uh, to the local directory so what I need I need a uh, visual studio to so I can create SSIS package so first of all uh, what I need uh, I need this uh, Azure feature pack because I'm creating this SSIS package to run on premises so this uh, on premises uh, uh, SQL server I will deploy to the SQL server and from there it will run on daily basis and then uh, download the files from the Azure blob storage so you will be downloading Azure feature pack you will click right there and then it will take you to the link and then you are going to download according to the version of your SQL server. Let's say you are working on SQL Server 2019, that's where you would like to deploy your package. Then you will be downloading Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Integration Services Feature Pack. If you are working on 17, then you will be doing this. That's uh, you will be given for a lower version as well. In my case, what I have done, I am using SQL Server 2017 and I have downloaded the uh, service pack uh, uh, for 2017. So you just download and install its MSI file, not a big deal. Now once uh, that's installed, what we are going to do, we are going to go ahead and create a new project. Uh, so before inst installing, just uh, close uh, the Visual Studio. So once uh, you bring it back, uh, it will show you. Sometime uh, if the Visual Studio is open, uh, what's going to happen, it's not going to show you, it will be grayed out. Uh, so you have to restart your Visual Studio. Go to the file and create new project. Uh, and here we are going to create, uh, we call it a Service Pack or uh, Azure Feature Pack or whatever you want to call, Download Files. Okay so hit no and a new project is created and uh, if you go right there uh, what's happening uh, this uh, azure is uh, grayed out uh, why because uh, my uh, target service server is a uh, 2019 and as i told you guys i have uh, installed the feature pack uh, for 2017 so i'm going to select uh, sql server 2017 apply yes hit okay yes to all and now my service pack will be available I'm again and again, I'm saying service pack, it's a Azure service feature pack. Okay, so it doesn't matter, but you guys got the idea. So here is my Azure feature pack right there. And I am going to use the blob download task. I already have a video on how to use Azure blob upload task. So you can take a look on that. Now we are going to go right there. And here we are going to double click and do all the configuration. Very easy configuration. First of all, we need to make connections to our Azure storage. So we are going to click right there, new connection, and it is going to ask us some questions. So we have to provide that information. It's asking me, hey, what is the name of account name? So, but first of all, let me tell you there are different type of storage available that you can use here from where you can download the files. One is called Blob Storage. Another one is Blob Storage uh, Emulated and third one is the Data Lake Storage Generation 2. In my case, uh, Blob Storage is just fine. I'm going to go to the Azure portal again and here I need to provide uh, my uh, uh, storage account name. I'm going to copy and now what we will do, we will go back to the our Visual Studio and provide the name. Second part, what we have to do, we have to provide a how to authenticate. In this case, uh, there is access key, service principle, and a share access signatures. In my case, uh, I'm going to use uh, the access key. I will go back to the portal, go to the storage here, and in the storage, uh, what I have right there, I have this uh, access keys tab. In the access keys tab, I'm going to say show keys and then copy this uh, key. Now I will go back to the Visual Studio, paste it there, and test my connection. So this is all good now, and hit OK. Now what we need to do next, we have to define the destination. 
and in this case our destination is our on-premises local directory so I'm gonna navigate to that so let me go back to the ADF and here go to the input so in the input uh, let me show you where I have uh, this is my input directory I can uh, delete all these files I don't uh, need to have any file here so let's go back here and now what we need to do we have to tell uh, blob container and the uh, blob directory so if you guys remember that inside this uh, blob I have containers and the, the container name is the uh, Azure input uh, that's what our container name and uh, let me go back here to the configuration and then I have blob directory I'm gonna go back to the uh, Azure portal go to container and inside container I have my demo files that's my blob directory so I'm gonna copy this and uh, that's where our files are existing so if you can see right there so we are all good here so let's copy and paste them now what we have to do here is saying search recursively if you have to find some file let's say if I want to file anything that has the Amir in the name so I can do that and if there are subfolders and sub blob directories it's gonna look for Amir in so those and bring that in my case they are straightforward in the my demo files so I don't need really don't need to do such a recursively okay so next what we have to do we have a file name here so one thing we can do we can provide simply file name and I'm gonna go ahead and let's say if I would like to download this file so this is my excel file so I'm gonna provide excel file here so I would like to download them next so you have here the time range depending on the modified data so see right there you are gonna have a click here and this is gonna give you a little description specify a time filter files modified after this date time and before time range 2 will be included so you can choose the time and be between and here you can define the criteria so I uh, don't want to be like uh, you will be using all the way maybe there are tons of files sitting and you don't want to download every file every day so you might want to write some expressions and here all those expressions are there so maybe you will go here and in the to range and from range and all that you will use get date minus five get date minus two maybe something like only five days data or maybe only one day data you will download so it's your choice now we are all good here and we are going to hit okay it's going to download a single file for us execute package and it's executing right now okay our package has been completed successfully go to progress and we can see that it has downloaded one file um, let me go to the input folder and take a look um, this is uh, awesome this has downloaded one file this file does not have any records uh, this was uh, just a demo file I created in the previous uh, demo now what we will do we will go ahead and make some changes in this case uh, what I would like to do I would like to download all the files now so our criteria will be changing from the file name to the asterisk so we can do asterisk.txt asterisk or asterisk.txt let's say if I'll do asterisk.txt it will only download the text files so you can play with this filter and choose what you want to download in my case I'm gonna go ahead and okay fine .txt I already have downloaded the excel file so I don't need to do that so I'm gonna just download the asterisk.txt so any file that has extension .txt it will download in this case there are five files and five files has been downloaded let me take to the input folder on the local server and that's where those files are I can open that file and you can see the data right there it has only one record see right there so this is a working just great so this is how you will use Azure feature pack to download your files from the Azure blob storage to the local directory so we will do other demos on I have already demo on upload and I will have other demo on these different tasks so you can watch in the playlist thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video